Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another quick video tutorial. Pro Q3 just got updated. In fact, all of FabFilter's plugins just got updated. I got the email today. I'm not sure when it happened, but Pro Q3, big update. It can now have a external sidechain trigger for that dynamic EQ. Uh, Pro Q3 got released a few months ago, and I did notice that it didn't have this capability before, but it has it now. And in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and get it working. So Pro Q3, big update has the dynamic EQ. So if I come over here and just turn the threshold for expansion or compression, I've got a dynamic EQ and I've got it right now on this baseline. Come over here, solo it. So right now, this dynamic EQ is being triggered by the bass itself, but I want to trigger this dynamic EQ from my drum loop here. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So right now, this is what they sound like together. And it's too much, it's too much going on here. I wanna carve out that bass to make room for my kick. And what we're gonna do is we wanna go audio to this track with the bass, which is where the Pro Q3 is, and then to the Pro Q3. And you'll see here, I can see both spectrums. I can see the spectrum from my drum loop and the spectrum from my bass. But the problem is I can't hear my drums anymore. So a way to get around that inside of Ableton Live is instead of going direct to this channel, I'm gonna go to a return track. So if I right click, add a return track, send this drum loop 100% to that return track. If I play it now, I'll have doubling up of my drums. Sounds like crap, that's not what we want. So instead of audio to master on the return track, I'm gonna go audio to the choral bass and then into the side chain of the filter. And we're almost there. So now I can see the spectrums of both of these. And if you don't, you should just come over here and just turn on the side chain view. You can turn it off if you want. There you go, now I can see them both. And all we need to do now is come over here, all right? So all we need to do now is come over here to where it says auto and click it. And this way we can see our threshold and there's this new button right here. And this means use the side chain as the trigger of the dynamic EQ node. So now you can see that that dynamic EQ node is being triggered and compressed due to the incoming signal of the drums. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And what's really cool about the Pro Q3 is that we can see both of the spectrums here. So I can actually see where the kick is and put that EQ node exactly where that kick is. So I'm getting the most out of it. So you can see the kick happening over here. And boom, and of course we can adjust the frequency and the Q value to make it a little bit more surgical. And that's it, that's how great it is. And obviously we can do that for multiple EQ nodes. Each one of the up to 24 EQ nodes inside of Pro Q3 now has this capability. Uh, the big secret here is you gotta click where it's auto. It usually just auto um, sets up your threshold for you. You do have your threshold control here when you click that auto button, but this is the button you're looking for to have an external sidechain trigger inside of Pro Q3. Anyway, I hope that helped. Um, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.